How are you doing, sir? Not good. Can you see my front? Yeah, can you see that? Hit a deer. I'm not contracted with Colorado. Okay, what do you mean by that? It means that I have no I license have, with Colorado. You want to make this a bigger deal? I, I know, I know. I'm I'm just trying to follow a specific protocol that I've been advised to and, and such. And like we both swore like to honor the same thing. And they're forcing you He's just trying to, stand up. to do something that goes yeah. against that which we swore to uphold. Thank you. Okay, before we start, the title of this video does sound like clickbait, but I promise you it's not. In fact, it couldn't be more accurate. A marine vet apparently hit a deer with his car. Not sure if the deer survived, but it did break this guy's headlight, which is the initial reason for the traffic stop by Colorado State Patrol. He then, in his infinite wisdom, decides to go full soft sit and start accusing two officers of violating their oath when things don't go his way. Right, let's get into the video. Hello. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Hey, how y'all doing? We're on our way from uh, Paragosa Springs, heading on Highway 160. We're here with uh, Officer... I'm Trooper Enriquez with the Colorado State Patrol. Trooper Enriquez and... Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's no Excuse me, Trooper, may we have your name, please? My name's Trooper Wilson, Colorado State Patrol. I'm M0046. Uh, the contact go. is recorded. Uh, sweet. How are you doing, sir? Not good. Can you see my front? Yeah, can you see that? Hit a deer. Uh, there's two reasons you're being contacted today. So, uh, passenger side headlight, it's out, but obviously we can see that's damaged. And you don't have any tags on the vehicle, okay? All right, so that's why you're being contacted. Do you have any questions about that? Um, I have no questions about it, no. Okay, awesome. No. Got a driver's license registration proof of insurance on you, sir. I have an identification the just a sec. Yeah. Okay. You're covering the the oh, name. My bad. You have a nice dog. Alright, do you have Is a valid appreciate that license? I do, but not uh, contracted with Colorado. So you're what? I said I'm not contracted with Colorado. Okay, what do you mean by that? It means that I have no I license have, with Colorado. Yeah, some kind of with another hound. State. I'm not sure what It's kind. Uh, with another state, Third but okay. some sort. I mean, I'm not in any type of uh, association still, uh, with that contract right now. Well, yeah, contract, hey, what do you mean by that? Okay, first of all, if you don't contract with the state of Colorado, then get off their roads. And secondly... He's not saying it, but he does have a valid driver's license out of Arkansas. So this BS about not contracting with Colorado, which is not a thing because you're conflating contract law with criminal, is nonsense. The, uh, I'm, I'm trying to, trying to it's like the, the, uh, the, the license is for the commercial use of okay. whatever, right? Okay. Do you yeah. need a valid driver's license to operate a vehicle in the state of Colorado, okay, sir? Oh, that's why I was showing you that there to that, be able okay, to have. Are you going to come back with a valid driver's license? Excuse me. Are you going to have? Have you ever had a valid driver's license? Not in Colorado, no. Not in Colorado, no. no. All right. Can I see that ID again? Yep. All right. I don't want to blind you, but I got to get it up. Okay. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, what's the guy goes close. Let's go say again. Oh, what's your middle name? I just see the initial. Uh, Miguel. M I G E L. Thank you. I mean, props to him for not being a dick about identifying himself and being fairly pleasant about all this. But according to his logic, isn't giving his name and date of birth contracting with the state of Colorado something he doesn't want to do? But we all know soft sits love to cherry pick laws they like or are convenient while ignoring the ones they don't, which in this case is registration. You're just on the phone with the insurance company. And they're closed okay. for the weekend. They're closed. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a bad date. And what's your date of birth, sir? Okay. And where do you reside? Where would your ID be out of? 
Well, the place that I'm working at now is in Walsenburg. Is in Walsenburg? Okay. Yeah. But when you prior, when you had a prior ID or if you did, what state is it out of? Arkansas. It's Arkansas? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Thank you. Oh yes, the great state of Arkansas. Definitely on my list of states to visit when I eventually make it to the US. And of course, the home of Arkansas Police Activity, NST, Police Pursuits, and all the other channels who cover those awesome dashcam videos. We love you guys. Okay, and do you have the registration and entrance for the vehicle? Yeah, let's check here. I'm holding that place. Split. I'll give my dispatch that. What you guys hit? A deer, a buck. Where was it? Just a... Just, I don't even know, maybe 30 minutes ago. Oh, really? Not even that long so, ago. So just yeah, just yeah, on the, uh, the west side of the really? south fork. It's oh, really? hissing. Yeah, yeah. It's hissing, the car is. I'm not sure what. I think the radiator Are is hissing. Are you any fluids or anything? I don't think so. Just No, steam. there wasn't anything dripping or anything. We stopped oh, down at the uh, the gas station four, and the four, whatever four, little five, stores right down there. So We checked it up. Well, yeah. you're five, lucky one. everything's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, cause, I mean, at least one headlight, too, you know? Yeah, you got, we you were got, just singing the whole song, you know, we'll make it home with one headlight. Yeah. You know, probably scared the heck out of you guys when you hit the deer, huh? It was. Well, I mean, I've traveled so many miles me. that it was one of those, like, it, I mm -hmm. mean, it comes through and you can't miss it. Yeah, like, I've hit a deer on a motorcycle before. It's, it's like, safer. sometimes it just happens. At a certain point, it's safer just to hit it than try and swerve. Yeah, yeah, I mean, because uh, yeah. it was just no. got done sleeting. And it's narrow. On the top over there. Yeah. And the roads were still wet and everything. And I was like, man, I know what's going to happen. So, yeah. See, I unfortunately... Love deer, but right here, are you just better oh, right than that just so I can verify again? There you go. Keep yourself out of the ditch. So like yeah. I think a Chevin should be on the window right here, towards too. Towards the middle of the uh, right here? road. Yeah, absolutely. Can you, can you, the, the van is also right here on the window. I think this guy needs a refresher course in how to be a sovereign citizen because he's not doing too good of a job, is he? By first giving his name and then by showing the VIN. You're letting the side down. It's hard to see. Are you looking for a van? Here. You go. Mm. Thanks. Yeah. It's like it's on here. Do you have that car? Can you just pull that Yeah, I was going to say, it's on here. Just so I can... Yeah. Three, five, one. Or starting to get cold. Right. All right, do you have any questions for me so far, Christopher, or why you're being contacted? Oh, uh, no, no, yet. I figured sooner or later. Uh, okay. uh, I saw one trooper right after yeah. right after it happened, uh, and I was hoping, but they were off going the other direction. Uh, so I was like, you know, sooner or later, I was going to have to talk to somebody about it. I was like, yeah, right on. That's fair. Um, do you have the tags for your vehicle, or do you have the registration paperwork, anything like that, that shows that the vehicle is registered? Yeah. <laughs> Marine. There you go. Appreciate the service. <laughs> I appreciate y'all's. You know, I always try to tell people, it's like, look, if it wasn't for everybody back here doing what America does, what I did over there, me getting shot over there would have been useless, you know? And we all really appreciate your service. And as a Marine, no less, that really does sort the men from the boys. And you took a freaking bullet as well, dude. Which you're still suffering the effects of to this day. So let me ask you this. Why would you go down this sovereign citizen road? Wouldn't that go against the oath you swore to uphold? Specifically the 10th Amendment of the Constitution, which gives each state the right to enact laws. Laws like the one being enforced by these two officers right now. Again, thank you for your service and all, but... I think you might need to brush up on the constitution a bit. Let me, I'm going to step back here. If you just want to look further, okay, just give me a second. Okay. Is that title? Title. That might help if he uh, couldn't find the van. I appreciate that. So being in the Marines, Pendleton or Paris Island? Pendleton. 
Yeah. There you go. I actually lived in, well, you know where 29 Palms is, right? Oh, yeah. I lived there for six months, unfortunately. Marine? No, I'm not, I'm not a Marine. Oh, okay. Just, <laughs> just was there, so. <laughs> I'm going to give this to him real quick. It might help him find it. I don't okay. appreciate it. Right, so I'm going to fast forward through nearly 15 minutes where he proves ownership of the vehicle and where they discover that he does in fact have a valid driver's licence plus the subsequent conversation with the second officer who does a great job at keeping the situation de-escalated Oh, and spikes were placed under the front wheels to prevent any shenanigans apparently and then we'll come back in where the first officer comes back with the bad news And in Hey, checking up on you, okay? All right, here's your info and you that title, okay? Awesome. Here's your envelope, okay. Um, headlight, I understand. That just recently broke. You don't worry about that. Um, you have a valid license, you're fine there. You do have an unregistered vehicle, though, okay? So I'm going to be citing you for the unregistered vehicle, all right? So I'll explain this to you and then I'll, I'll take any questions afterwards. Does that mean that I'm required to have a contract with... So to operate a vehicle in the state of Colorado on our public road, so is that a yes? It has to be registered. Okay. So is that a requirement that I'm supposed so to have a contract with the state of Colorado? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Just. I know that officer wasn't really listening to this guy's nonsense then, but by not doing so, and it is understandable because this is just word salad. But he just inadvertently validated this guy's belief that vehicle registration is a contract with the state and not the law. So I'll explain this to you. Let me know if you can hear me, Kate. So it's a citation for operating or permitting use of an unregistered vehicle. It's one of 250, no points against your driver's license. You have two options. You can pay a check or money order within 20 days in an envelope I gave you, or you could appear at Alamosa County Court. Date and time was on the bottom left. If you pay the citation, you don't have to go to court. Don't pay it, you have to go to court, okay? Um, can I get a good phone number from you for court purposes? Yeah, the phone number I have is awesome. Okay. Do you have any other questions for me? Yeah, Mr. his Burke? little bacon snack. Um, not that I uh, know of right this moment. Well, actually, um, <laughs> I yep. really don't desire to receive that piece of paper. Okay, so you don't have to sign. It is. It says serve because I am serving it to you. Okay. Well, as I say, I, I don't to desire to, for it to be handed to me. Okay. Or placed on my property. Okay. Yeah. Well, nobody ever desires a citation, do they? I mean, you're only making yourself look really childish and stupid by not accepting it. Plus, ignoring it doesn't make it go away. But all that's irrelevant anyway because his passenger undoes all his stupid in a couple of minutes when she accepts it for him. So I'm gonna go ahead, so here's your copy. Okay, this is defendant's copy, this is for you. I said you have a court date, if you wanna go that route, that's no issue with me. It's totally up to you, but vehicle has to be registered, okay? Uh, I understand your position. Okay. All right. Your position. You. Uh, like I said, I don't, I don't want to be handed anything. What was that? I said I don't want to be handed or anything or have anything placed within the property. Okay, but this is being served to you. Okay, so I can put it right here or I can put it on your windshield wherever you want it. Okay, I don't I mean, want to make this a bigger deal. Than I, I know, I know. Time. I'm, I'm just trying to follow a specific protocol that I've been advised to and, and such. And but the, I, uh, I understand then that's your right. right. Okay. I mean, uh, and where has following that specific protocol, i.e., your soft sit script from a soft sit grifter, got you a ticket for no registration? Which, if you pay the fine, is roughly the equivalent of a year's registration, maybe bit more a bit less but you're wasting your time and not protecting any of your rights which is what this is all about supposedly i also got a you know i mean uh, my job i i comprehend that there is you guidelines that are placed upon you and it sucks I, and i really i really do uh, I because we both swore like, to honor the same thing like, and they're nice. forcing you He's just Regardless, trying to stand up to do something Regardless, that goes yeah. against that Please. which we swore to uphold. Thank you for you guys. You've got to be either really dumb or ignorant to accuse others of not upholding their oath to the Constitution while you, a Marine veteran, completely disregard the Tenth Amendment. I mean, 
you need to get some perspective. That's I mean, too. Like my mother asked me, why don't you have your Purple Heart license plate? I'd be proud. It's like, yeah, I'm very proud about my service. But to be forced into a contract just for traveling the nation that every doctor I speak to says I should have died for. They said I should have been blown in half. You don't need to take it. You know, I mean, and I get it, and I, know, and I get it, and I know it's was lame. Y'all are stuck in a bad position too, because it puts us. Has issues, so I don't want to keep you here. Then right, right, right. It's getting hot too. So where, where would you like this place? Here, I'll take it. Okay. Please. If uh, so, just because you already told me to, I'm not gonna reach in, so I'm gonna okay. give it to my. Or, okay. or you can reach over my way. Yeah. So I mean, Got just um, okay. just you know how everything. Thank we, you for your patience. Thank you. Thank you for y'all your have a safe day. What was that? I said thank you, and y'all have a safe day. Hey, okay. nice talking with you. I'm pretty sure they put spikes under my tire, just in case I wasn't gonna drive off because it looked like they were pulling things out. So there we have it, guys. A purple Heart Marine vet going full soft sit. Well, maybe not full because he did give his name and he did have a valid license. But more importantly, I think it's a bit rich accusing other oath takers of violating theirs while apparently disregarding his oath by ignoring the Tenth Amendment. But what do you guys think? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave me a like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you also to my channel members and patrons for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Right, take care all and I will catch up with you in the next video.